Hello everyone, it's Julie from Camellia Crafts Designs. Welcome and welcome back. I'm here today with um, a project for a new series, or a new challenge, that Tanya over at Tatty Treasure is starting. It's Junk It July, yeah? And you'll have seen what I make already on my Tatty Treasure Tuesday if you watched that earlier in the week. Because I'm going to be making some embellishments to go in that, well, journal cards, whatever, to go in that. I'll show you the journal. This is my junk mail journal that I'm making as part of my Tatty Treasure Tuesday. So, the challenge is uh, you make four things from junk. Now, I've got a selection of packaging. Yeah, Ooh, it's lovely that Asda Pizza makes, I'm telling you. Although, you can just make it yourself if you want to. <laughs> Don't even. Uh, I've got some Graphic 45 packaging. I do just save all my posh packaging. And my nice pretty packaging and then I quite often don't use it so I've just got a handful of it out here I've got this one which is going to be interesting look at that it's already lovely and cream inside I need to do nothing to that inside we'll be able to write on it and I can make some kind of fold over journal card I've got a few like that actually that could that that'd make a perfect little notebook wouldn't it that's going to be a notebook yeah that one I love I just love it yeah, so we're gonna. Oh, I've got these. I'd already cut and shaped those. They're Jacob's Cracker Boxes. And what else have I got? More Tim Holtz. The Tim Holtz packaging is so nice, although I do find it a bit shiny, and I still not bought any clear gesso, Deborah. I've got me in matte gel medium, and yeah, a bit thin. I just I don't know. And then I've got these, although it's not junk. The challenge does include stuff you've got laying about, unfinished stuff as well. These are some post-it notes. I probably picked these up in a pound land because I don't pay dear for this kind of stuff. And they're lovely and they've just been wallowing in with all my rubbish. So I've got those out, might use those. I can always stick them on with a glue stick. Yeah, I'm looking forward to using those. And I grabbed this, but I think this might be a bit thick for this week. It's, yeah, they've had an off run at co-op. Co Tanya loves ours in Rotherham set co-op co-op is that it's like a little well it's a supermarket yeah and they have local ones they started off as a local shop the 100 maybe 200 year old now i don't know and we in yorkshire call it co-op <laughs> co so yeah but i think that's a bit thick for this so i'll put that uh, aside for another week i'll tell you how this works as we go on i'm going to start off i think by making that is going to be the perfect size for some tags for the centre of my junk mail journal. So that is what that's going to get used for. So I'll just bob them on there. I'll keep that one out. Yeah, the challenge is to make four things a week throughout the four weeks of July. And if you use the hashtag Tatty Treasure, uh, you don't have to do a YouTube video. Uh, you just have to post them on the Tatty Treasure Facebook group, on Instagram. You can do it on YouTube if you've got it. But by no means do you have to have YouTube or Instagram. And there's going to be a prize. It's going to be chosen at random. It's not going to be the best. Or Do you know what I mean? Because that's it's subjective, isn't it? One person's idea at best is not going to be another's. So, yeah, it's just going to be at random. So, my first item, well, it's going to be two, I think. Two items, yeah. So I'm going to make two tags. I think they're going to be perfect, aren't they? They just are, aren't they? Yeah. Will they, will they be too skinny? No, they won't. So I'm going to come in and straight away cut that in half. I really am. So let's see how wide it is. I've got my little baby trimmer. I've zoomed in a bit more today as I'm doing smaller things again. It's five and a... Yeah, eight eighth ish wide so that's two and a half and a sixteenth ish yeah that's uh <laughs> oh dear i had a very funny yeah comment from oh diana diana i'm really terrible with names i do apologize do you know i didn't used to be uh <laughs> talking about it's lovely to hear my yorkshire accent she's from yorkshire as well and yeah and I, use, I often use the measurement yay much, <laughs> which is a bit of a York. I don't know if it's just Yorkshire, but I never hear anyone else say it. And Jane, Jane, oh dear, Jane, Diana, 
I've only got two kids, you know, when I get them mixed up, so don't take it personally. Right, I'm going to make these traditional tag shaped by cutting the corners off with my card. I'm so not going that dodgy We Are Memory Keepers tag board out for two tags. It's, yeah, I'm beginning to think more trouble than it's worth. I think, to be honest, if you're cutting thinner tags, it's brilliant. I've been trying to cut some really thick, chompy things. <laughs> then I've been killing blade. I've abused it, yeah. It's not the uh, kind of uh, yeah, gadget that's going to stand up to much abuse. I'm cutting a bit more off top of these because I don't like how pointy it is. Does that make sense? Also, they're going to be a smidgen too tall. So I'm going to cut a bit off top. And do I'm, I'm going to cut a bit off bottom. So I'm, I've put them both together to cut because I still want them to be the same size. I should have used that's better. I like that shape much better. I'm going to test the size. Oh, that's that's fine now. To the right height. So here we go. Right, on the back of them as well, I've grabbed a piece of that uh, sticky brown adhesive paper that I've been talking about. That's, here we go. It's self-adhesive and it's just the same as any old brown craft paper, but it's self-adhesive, yeah. And I find because it's self-adhesive, it's easy to put on. Now, what I'm going to do with it this time is, <laughs> she says, I think I might just stick these on and then cut round. Oh, is it going to be big enough? Just going to grab a full sheet, two ticks. And I'm back. And I've also got a cup of tea in my classy bird mug from Tanya. So it's all Tanya and Tatty Treasure today, isn't it? So here, this is it. I got it off Amazon. It's 50 sheets for yay much. The price goes up and down. I tend to not want to pay more than about six, seven pounds for it. Which I think is still quite a bargain. Right, so move book out of way because we know we're making something that's right size now. So you can stick book over there, missus, and you don't have to worry about it. There you go. Right, so I'm going to try it. I normally cut a piece and then stick it at tag, but I'm going to try this a completely different way to normal. I'm just going to try and peel back in back, stick tag on, and then cut round. It might all go horribly wrong, you just don't know. Right, so I don't have much trouble going back enough, but I have seen Tanya struggle. I think I think it's one of them things, you know, sometimes there's just a knack to it, isn't there? So I've lined well, I nearly lined one edge up. There you go. And I'm not gonna line it right next to the other one because then I'm not gonna have room to cut properly, am I? There we go. So I don't need to put that back. I'm just doing it while I cut. Yeah, this is another light board situation where it could come in under. I craft with a window at front of me, so I use that. I use the window as a light board all the time, and I'm just cutting off the bit I've not used. There we go. Now I'm going to risk gumming up my Tim Holt scissors. <laughs> to be honest, I think they're a bit gummed up already. But I've got some alcohol wipes. There you go. Ready to clean them if needed. So I'm just going to come in and cut round. It's also it's, it's quite thin this paper as well, so it's not going to thicken these up too much. It's not going to create a load of extra bulk that we don't want. Oh, I'm going to have to stick my fan on. It's a bit warm again. That's better. Yeah, so I'm going to cheat and call this two items. Well, it is, isn't it? <laughs> One piece of packaging made two items. I, I could use that, but... I didn't put any forethought into it, did I? That's that. Do you know? <laughs> I could have stuck. I'm cutting the tag a bit now, but whatever. I could have stuck the paper on before I cut the tagging off. That would have been so 
ease it and so there's probably people out there saying why didn't she just stick paper on before she cut tags well maybe it's a dancing day not a thinking day it's just you do and I, I have um sometimes i'll do summer and people will be like wow that's a genius idea why did i think of that it's so simple but i think a lot of things are but we don't all think of everything do we so and that that's why it's brilliant i think to share your ideas on youtube like this well yeah i'm not doing it just for good of my health uh it is earning me some money i mean i'm not going to be a millionaire no but yeah it's more than pin money <laughs> people say it's pin money buy some blooming expensive pins in my opinion yeah Whee. Da -da. plus also it's the thing it builds up over time doesn't it so yeah it would have been far easier for me to stick the whole piece of card onto this paper then I'd have had none of this trimming around it rubbish yeah but that just didn't occur to me did it so anyway we got there in the end and I quite enjoyed it it was fun right I'm gonna do some inking uh, I'm gonna try my walnut stain see how dark it ends up being it don't bother me that that says graphic 45 I like it I'm leaving that as it is oh I'm gonna do some more decorating on it but I'm not covering all that up, especially not for my junk mail journey. I need to rename that junk and junk mail, don't I? You can see a bit of that. I'm gonna ink the back up, and that's pretty light, so you'll have no problem writing on that tag. So that's that. Yes, it's lovely. This you've got clocks in background all these leaves I'm gonna crack out some pre-made embellishments for them and I've got my botanical sticker book at the ready although I don't know I could put I could try some die cuts on these because th yeah it was quite a thin card and so even back in it it's not too thick yeah, I could try some botanical die cuts. Let's grab some. Yeah, I do have those Tim Holtz wildflower stamps. But I don't use them too often. But I've used, sorry, yes. I use the wide wildflower stamps. What I should say is I've also got some of the wildflower dies. I don't use those too often. This is my little box where they're stored. And then can be a little bit of a pain getting all tangled. So let's see what we've got. I don't know whether I've got colours I'd like, but we could also colour them, couldn't we? I could use up. I think that's why I'm not using these. I've done them in colours I don't like. So, oh, I've got some gold. I don't think this is a sparkly journal, is it? Let's see. Let's just see. Oh, I think that does look good on there. But I don't think it's going to go in the journal. I've got some pale ones. I've got some pink and some orange. Oh, I like that colour on the black. That's like, uh, it's not even a yet, it's like a sand colour, should I say. I'm going to call it sand, so I've got sand and craft. Oh, I do like them. Yeah, they show up and they go with the decoration. Looks like this is what's happening on here. See, what? Oh, this is so annoying. <laughs> I know Tanya keeps hers in smaller amounts in her bag. I don't think that's a Tim Holtz, I'm not sure. It could be. I've got quite a few different dyes. I don't know if that's a Tim Holtz. But it doesn't matter. They're just wildflower dyes. I think that this just proves you don't need to have the Tim Holtz branded. There's lots out there. I think we get hung up sometimes, don't we? We need to have this particular one. And that's the only one that we'll do. Hmm, I don't think I like the white, but I'll get it out anyway. I want some more of that sandy colour. I might even put a bit of gold on. I'm not I'm not indecisive today, I'm just finding things that I didn't I forgot I had. It's like ooh ooh, I want to use it. I want to use it all at once. I won't make you watch me put all these back in. I will oh a fern. That's nice. A craft fern. Oh I've got a craft butterfly. 
Oh, I could decorate one of the pieces at Whit Butterfly. Yeah, I think I might just put a, a spindly gold one in each. I do like it. I think that's it for the yellows. I've got one, two, three. It would be nice if I got one more in that sandy yellow card, but it's not looking like I have. So I could ink one up. I'll keep a few of these out that I've done in the cream card and white. And yeah, I can ink a few of those up. Oh, I've got a little gold fern there. That's cute. I think these might be Crafter's Companion, these little gold ferns. You know. Got another craft fern. Can you even see this box I'm rummaging in? Yeah. It'd be quite unfair for me to be rummaging off camera, wouldn't it? Right, yeah, another butterfly. So I'll keep that out. And I'm not even, I'm not going to. I'm not going to spend forever tidying these. I'm just going to put them in quite higgledy piggledy and they'll sort themselves out. Yeah, I'm wishing there, aren't I? There's no way they're actually going to sort themselves out. I'll be doing it after I've finished the video. Right, what's that one? Too white. Don't like it. Right, put those out at way in my never ending pile. So. Right, the other thing I want to put in these is some of, I made some phrases with craft card and stamps. Uh, so I'll grab those. I don't want butterfly. I'm stood up now looking at my, getting my boxes. So there's the phrases. And there's some small ephemera. I always think I'm ready, but I never am. I've never got everything out I want. Yeah, I want to use some of these and I think they're going to look good on here. Not that when it's a tag. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I tried these on some collage I did the other week and they just did not go. But we, I knew they'd go with things in this junk mail journal. Here we go. I keep saying I'm going to list videos, don't I, where I've made stuff and then I forget. But everything I mention, I've got everything arranged in playlists, yeah? So if I mention I've made... Yeah, it's in playlists. If I mention something with butterflies on, it's in the butterfly playlist, etc, etc. Right, oh, there's another one. And there's another one. So I think I've got... I could put an extra tag on top of these. That could be pretty cute, in fact. So I'll grab a couple of those, just in case I decide to... Right, now it just looks like I've got a whole mess of stuff on my desk. Right, we've got craft, we've got yellow. I think I want something in a darker brown. So I'm going to colour a couple of these. Yes, I am. I'm going to colour a couple. Grab a piece of my label backing that I like to use. I'm back on my mucky mat today. I've took my paper off it. We're a bit disgusting. I'll put another one back on. At some point. I hope this is not too bright on camera. I'm learning to how to set my light better. Right, I'm going to get one of my inking brushes. Sorry for reaching. And I'm going to ink these up. And I think I'm going to use vintage photo because it's a little bit orangey. -er. So, just that. Hmm. I might have wanted it a bit, I don't know. I mean, if you've got sprays, use your sprays. Use whatever you've got. You can use anything. Get your watercolours out, get your acrylic paints out. Even use, there's the, well, I've got some. I've got some of those um, Tim Holtz crayon thingamajigs. Never used them. I, I tested them when I got them. Never used them. I don't think I'm confident enough with them yet. That's a much better colour. So I want the big yellow one as a bit of a focus and a little fern down there and I think, do I, I want my phrase at the bottom, life is tough but so are you, that's not big enough. I like this one, have courage and be kind, I do, I just like that. Mm -hmm. Do 
I need to just put one little I'm going to put one little gold sparkly one on and I'm just going to stick them on I am, that's it, end of grab your glue missus I've had to have my glitter glue upside down it's, oh it's down to is it down to about where the bottom of the label is now we'll see what occurs with it anyway so I'm going to put the yellow one at the back I like it, I like the others on top of it Yeah, you just need a bit of patience to glue these, don't you? There's lots of ways. Put glue on the back of your hand. Tanya, I can't remember the way Tanya tried. She had a good idea for him. But I forgot where it were. Whee. Yeah, so the child, yeah, if you've not been to... Tanya's Facebook group. I don't know how to, I need to ask her. I keep forgetting. I don't know how to put a link for a Facebook group in my description. It might just be my dumbness. Uh, but I've always got Tanya's uh, channel linked and Tanya's got a link on her channel. Yeah, so there you go. I will ask her and try and get it in before this video goes up. But you never know, I might forget. Uh, I don't want this to go off end of edge of paper clip. What? Tag paper clip. Oof, I know. Yeah, I'm a bit rubbish with words. That's sometimes a sign I've got a migraine coming on when I just do a, a complete gobbledygook. Yeah. So don't be messaging me thinking I'm having a stroke. I'm not. It's, that it's always been a sign that I'm having a migraine but thankfully I take medication for it and they're not bad <laughs> gobbledygook paper clips oh woman what you like right that was do you know I think I might want that inked one a bit darker it's a bit too close to the colour of that isn't it I'm going to put some darker ink on it I really am do you know what get really brave and use some Distress Ink Ground Espresso. Oh, this could be terribly wrong but we've got plenty of bits of paper. Oh, I've, I've done quite well. Yeah, I like that colour much better. In fact, do you know what? I could leave the stalk lighter, couldn't I? That's better now because then that's more like your focal, your focal twig. <laughs> oh dear. Oh. I've had a subscriber as well saying she's loving learning all these new words, waffling and I forgot the other one already. <laughs> See? But yeah, you, you're going to learn some words off me, I tell you. Where did I have that one? Was that one in the middle? Or was it this one I had on here? I had this one on, didn't I? There. And then I had them a bit higher. That were it. And then we tweaked. We just poked a little gold one in. And then we're having that at the bottom. Maybe that should have gone near at top. I don't know. But I'm happy, Bunny. I like it like that. Yeah. So let's put this on. I'm supposed to be making four things in this video. Lordy. I need to shut up waffling and just crack on. I seem to have lost the art of uh, waffling and crafting at the same time. I seem to be doing one or other. Look, I've just done it. I've waffled while putting glue on. That's how I need to do it. Right. So... If I wanted that behind, I should have stuck it on first. Oh, let's just hope glue didn't dry on that while I glue this one up. Definitely a dancing day. Oh, I had a nap this morning. Oh, I had a nap yesterday. I was throwing my sleep out of whack again. I feel fine, but I need to develop a better sleeping pattern. 
so I was just saying to Tanya earlier when I feel the need to nap I'm just going to go for a walk end of that's it I'm going for a walk and I think that will be much better I'm just using a bit of kitchen roll to press it down and wipe up any excess glue that's it and the glue hasn't dried on my fern now although it's getting a little bit dry on some of the bits so I can now put my fern on bit more glue there yeah so having the fern a little bit higher because the bottom of it's going to be covered by I've gone and covered some of that flower now like an empty yeah if you're doing this yourself this is what I always used to do but I can't do it now I'm on uh, video I used to um, take a photo of it before I took it off to glue it so I know exactly where to put things I mean my gold one's sticking out in a different place now but I think it just adds something I really do don't know where it adds it's that elusive something it's the X Factor isn't it X Factor do you know I've not watched that for years I lie I sometimes watch the auditions but yeah they've got a bit they're all about making fun of people now aren't they and I'm not really into that some people are just genuinely funny but some people are deluded <laughs> and I don't think we need to see Simon Cowell making fun of deluded people it's not my idea of entertainment that's it I like it I'm gonna glue this one on with some um, thicker glue I'm gonna use my well it's same glue it's me and eaters I just want more glue on because it's gluing on to more of a 3d surface now isn't it poke it with your pin poke it with your pin There we go, I've got it out. I've come to the conclusion now, if you want drama free glue, you're going to have to pay more money for it, and I don't want to. I think it's worth having that little bit of drama <laughs> to save so much money on this Anita's glue. It's worth the drama. Yeah. Some people just are worth the drama, aren't they? And some glues are just worth that bit of drama. I'll put you there. That is so simple, but I like it. I love Tim Holtz packaging. No, it's not Tim Holtz, it's Graphic 45. <laughs> These are the packs of um, journal cards and cutter parts, as they're sometimes called. I've got lots of them packs because I used to do a lot of mini albums with them especially baby ones right and i think that needs a hole punching in it and it needs an eyelet because i think that'll just finish it off yummily yummily i really need to do my own dictionary right, here we go i'll tell you what i am gonna do though my next free printable and buy me a coffee i'm gonna do some words I'm going to do some yorkshire -ish words, I'll find a nice font or, oh yeah I'd forgot, I have got a typewriter, a vintage typewriter so I think rather than just do a digital I'll type it, scan it in and that's what you'll get. I'm taking a bit longer to find things today because I've rearranged in my craft room ever so slightly and it will take me a while to get used to where everything is. Deborah was spoiling me again. She bought me some bits off my Amazon wish list. Yeah, she's. Yeah. So, mm, yeah, she's on a spending ban now. I did send Deborah and she's thanked me for it. She's not just some crazy lady that sends you loads of stuff for absolutely no reason. <laughs> she's uh, a lovely lady that sends you stuff. But then she sent me a load of extra stuff because I'd sent her a die cutting machine. I'd sent a one of mine that I just don't use anymore. I, I didn't use it much to be honest in the first place. It, it's one of the grand calibers, it's an A4 machine. 
and I got it back when I used to do greeting cards in bulk and it's manual and it didn't half kill my arm after about 50 <laughs> but your average normal person ain't going to be doing 50 at once are they so she'd commented on one of my videos when I'd used my little baby die cutter and said she got a baby what that worry I'd use some bigger dies and she was like oh she's just got a baby one she's tempted to get a bigger one so I messaged her said no don't get a bigger one I've got one I'm sending it you yeah, then she insisted on paying on po for postage and then sent me some more stuff as a thank you. So, thank you so much, Deborah. You are a true gem. You really are. Right, we've got the eyelets in both of those now. And let's place our flowers on this one. I really like them. I really love it. I've got quite a bit more of this packaging. I might do more. Oh, I like that. I like this colour on that packaging. I'll never find it again. Um, let's have... I want another fern. Let's have that different shaped fern. We'll put you a smidgen higher. Yes, we will. We'll put you there. And I think I might have a bigger gold one on, you know. That's far too big. No, that will never do. But I could put this one on. Put it that side. I've got that one on there, haven't I? Tell you what, I'm going to use two small gold ferns at the bottom this time. Yeah. So we're going to have you two. Oh, I could use that instead of that other one. Oh, I like that. I do. And I'm going to use... Oh, that's... Oh, I've got that one in gold. I didn't know I had that. Change my mind again. <laughs> yeah, go in there. You're going there. And I want a little cream one to colour in. This one looks far busier. Do you know what? Does this one even need a cream one to colour in? I don't think it does. I think this one is quite happy with just these three and I think I prefer them that way. That's it, that's done. Don't move it until you glue it and then you're going to put it back in a completely different place. Don't you know? Right, which one do you want? Good things take time, life is tough but so are you. I think I might like the good things take time and then I can put that that's it down at the side of the greeting yeah that's it that's how it's going so I'm going to put this glue this one first this time and these will be perfect for that center point I'm on 33 minutes so I'm actually not making these anywhere near as quick as Tanya at Tire Treasure Maximama it's a complete waffle fest. So I will be making two smaller things for my other two. I think we're nearly empty. Come on, Anita, save the day. Don't come out too fast though, love, or you'll muck it up. There we go. kids are home from school now. A bit late starting my video in. It's them lions. Oh, let's stay glue, stay. So yeah, you're going there. That's it, grab the kitchen roll again. bit under there yeah they're very intricate these can you see why I don't use these tumults a lot they are worth it they do look good but it's a bit faffy isn't it but I think like the glue they're just worth 
the drama, aren't they? I had to keep a couple of the dies out of my little baby die cut machine because you can fit one die through my little sapphire that I've got, my little baby spellbinders one. There we go. That's enough. Perfect. That's it. So then we'll put our fern on and our... There we go. I like that. So I'll put the fern on first. I'm not even ink round fern, I think it looks good as it is. I'm not sure who these dies are. I have started to rearrange dies now. I keep a lot of my dies in their original packaging. And now I know I'm going to keep them and use them, I really need to take them out. So I'm reducing the amount of space it takes to store them. And I'm rearranging how I store them rather than storing them in brand. I'm storing them in type. That's far too low down. That's better. There you go. Yeah, I'm storing them by type. And I've already done that with my flowers and ferns and things. So they've got no packaging. They've got no branding. So I forget. So I suppose I ought to make a list, write it in a book or something. That would just take far too long, wouldn't it? I could have a dye journal. Cutting dye journal, yeah? We'll see. Right. I like that. Could have gone higher that firm. Let's wipe that off and put it a bit further over. Yeah. I quite like those. Yeah. The same but different. Same enough, different enough. And they will go in the centre spread of my junk mail journal, which is just behind me. Let's grab it. I'll move that in case the ink's not dry. Well, I know the ink's dry. Oh, love it. I think they look really nice. Yay! I love that. I'm going to take them out now while the glue finishes drying because I don't want them to be stuck in there forever. Right, I want to make two more things now because this is a challenge to make four items from junk. So this time I think I will get... What will I get? I'll just grab the whole handful for starters. That's what I'll do. Here we go. Where's the one I said will make a lovely booklet? That one, because we've got to cut those holes off. That would. Oh, I haven't took those off yet. That would make a nice skinny booklet. But that one's not going to need a lot of decorating, is it? So, I'm going to grab, grab my trimmer. And I'm going to cut it just below them dots because I like them and I think I want them to stay. Ooh, they're not, either my trimmer's wonky or them dots are very wonky. I need to do something about that. That takes your eye off in a whole wrong direction. It's, it's the stamping. It's the inking that's very wonky. Hmm. Oh dear. I think if I just cut level along the bottom at dots, your eye will think it's straight even though it's not. There you go. Looks straight, but it isn't. But I don't much care. Because it looks straight. Right, I'm going to round that with my medium sized corner. I'm going to round that. And in this junk mail journal, I want 
you to be able to see that things are made from packaging. So I'm using the actual packaging. And that, I'll put something over that where it says five lock embellishments. But apart from inking around this, I'm not going to do a great deal else to it. Apart from put some paper in and make it into a cute little notepad. And I'll, I think this will tuck into the, one of the front or back inside pockets in that junk mail journal. Yeah, it's, we've got a few marks on it. It's not perfect. It's showing signs of life. Yeah, it's been used. It's not a brand new piece of card. I'm starting to embrace that a little bit more now rather than try and hide it. I grabbed my... I did. I grabbed my folder of tea stain scraps. So I've just whacked, cut, whacked the camera. I'm just going to check we're okay. Oh, you look pretty dark. Dropped a bit dark out. So I've got that piece. I don't need a book page. That piece. Will that be big enough yet? Got a couple of those. That one. I don't want them all to match. I just want some random bits of tea stain paper that probably won't get used in any other books because they're too small or oddly shaped. Here we go. I think we've got plenty there now. What's that? A map? We don't need the map. But I'll keep that out for decorating. They'll do. And I'm just going to rip them down to an acceptable size with my tear ruler. I'm just going to have to pause and check this light. That's a bit better. Yeah, it's gone bright outside again now. I do apologise. One minute we've had bright sunshine, next minute we've had a storm. So, the length on that's fine, the width is okay. I uh, need to adjust the width on that. And I'm not being precise either. That were two pieces, so I've ripped it on the fold. So that then gives me two pieces for my little notebook. A lot of these are just a smidgen too wide. So I'm going to come in and rip off a smidgen. Thank you, Janya. Uh, Janya tagged me in a post on Facebook and I'm not good at Facebook. I don't check it off, off you know. I, I very rarely go on groups. I've only started going on a bit now again because Tanya started a group. So I've been popping in terms paint lots group as well and uh, having a look in there. I just have not had the time. I just have not had the time to be keeping up with groups. I don't know where other people find all the time from. I really don't. And I've said it before, I will not, I'll not be doing a Facebook group, ladies. Not until my kids are <laughs> perhaps about 20. I might consider it. I wouldn't have the time to run one. What I think I might look into if I can figure out how to do it is, you know how you can put a video up on a premiere and then people, you can talk to people as the video is playing? I quite fancy that idea. I really do. I'm going to use that piece. I mean, we can't use that bit. So. Oh, another thing. Is if anyone's ever followed my folio from one document wallet tutorial, I did it back when I first started it with one of my earlier videos. And I know quite a few have watched it. And a kind lady brought to my attention the fact that I'd missed some measurements out at description. I'd missed the measurements out for the notebook itself. 
so they are now in right i think that's enough in there we don't want it too chunky we've got one two three four five there's seven pieces i think pushing it to ten might be a bit of a push so i'm not pushing it <laughs> there you go Right. Now normally I just put a hole there but we've already got that hole there but I could still do the same yeah I'm just going to punch it with my crocodile bit further down I think it's the big hole I'm using punch it there punch it there and I'm going to put some twine through and fasten it. I'm not putting eyelets on, that's just... This card's thick enough, I don't think. I think. So that we don't need any. Yeah. And I'm just going to tie that in a bow. So that you can refill it. I like to do these so they're refillable. That's it. I'll snip that off. Yeah, you're managing to do it without cutting it off. So I'm not wasting. And I, I'm just going to put something else over there instead of the five lock embellishments word I don't know if I've got anything in here let's look see hey we didn't hang tags on top of them other tags did we I don't know whether I want to do that no I can see the words either side of that no I think I need something bigger I don't think I've got anything in here big enough Oh, about that one. I don't like that. I don't like it. <laughs> Let's grab my labels. Let's pop a label on. I'll have one of these long labels again. Oh, I like that one. But do I want something that's more botanical rather than a microscope? Mind you, you can look at botanical things under a microscope. What's that one? That's a chair. I don't want a chair. I've got one more of these long labels hiding at the bottom. What's that got on it? Oh, nothing. Yeah. That's the one I'm going to use. Come off. And that's going to cover that up where it says five lock embellishments. <laughs> yeah, this packaging, funnily enough, it were a pack of lock embellishments from the works. I like that because it looks like I've stamped that make and create there and we'll just stick this on with me and eaters I'll just start there my god I like that so we've got a notebook so I'm, oh, I'm under pressure now. I need to make one more thing from packaging, don't I? What's it gonna be? Da -da -da. <laughs> Where's my pile of packaging gone? Is it gone? Have I lost it? It won't. It won't surprise me. Here we go. I'll put my uh, words on top of it. So which is the one? I'm gonna make something on one of these. It's. Jacob's cream crack packaging. We've got a bit of a head start now, haven't we? So I think it's gonna have to be wildflowers. Ooh, that's cute. That's too long, but we could cut it off. You don't have to be perfect to be beautiful. That's cute. But then again, I, I like that because it mimics that shape. But then again, I don't. Ooh, flora very thick to be using in my junk mail journal yeah, I'm panicking now that I'm not going to get one finished it's like ooh what's 
about. Hmm. I know what. I'm going to do it with, um, yeah, I am. I'm going to do it with transfers, the stickers. You know what I mean, don't you? Vintage stickers and tickets. Vellum stickers. Excuse me. Oh, I've just whacked camera again. I'm terrible today. Here we go. Voila. <coughs> Got that pack. Oh, there's some interesting packaging in here as well, isn't there? Interestingly enough. Oh, look at that one. Mm, I think Tammy used a similar one to that in her first video. So I'm going to get my flower ones out. And I'm going to grab a stamp. I'm rummaging, I'm rummaging. Oh, look at this. Look at this stamp I've got. I love it. And I don't think I've used it. It's bubble wrap. It's a bubble wrap pattern. Much like you can do this with bubble wrap itself. But that can be a little messy. So I tend to, I like my bubble wrap stamp. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to do a bubble wrap background. Because that's, what's that? Packaging. Bubble wrap is packaging. I think I'm going to stamp it with walnut stain. So let's see what occurs. If I don't like this one, I'll use the other one. Don't want to adhere to it, does it? And it's not a new stamp, they say I've used it, but not for a while. Do I go all over or just a bit? That's just a bit. Then I dropped it. You numpty woman. Ooh. I didn't like that at first, but I like it a bit now. Yeah. That's that. What else do I want to put on it? I don't want to put any uh, text stamp on. I am just going to come in and put some stickers on. So grab the ones I've just got out. And then I might put two eyelets in and put like a little handle on the top. It's gone really dark again. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I've discovered I can adjust the lighting without having to pause the camera. I like that. That lily. But then I also like that. I don't want to put that Be Strong and Amazing one on. I'm going to have that perfect and beautiful one at the bottom. That's too light, it is. I need something bolder to put over that stamping. I could have done that stamping in a much darker colour, really. Oh, what about this fuchsia? I like that one. Right, that's what it's going to be. Right. Let's see how many days it takes me to get this off. Remember, try and peel the sticker off the backing. Instead of the backing off the sticker. Then you just need to straighten the bottom out if it curls. I think I've done it. Yeah, I really went into waffle mode at the beginning of this, didn't I? There we go, I like it. Yeah, that would have looked much better with a lighter colour. But I, still, I think it's fine. I am going to ink the edges in a slightly darker colour. Because this looks like it were inked in vintage photo. Yeah, 
that instantly makes it look better that darker inking on edges and the back I'm going to cover with the brown craft paper and I'm just going to come in and darken some of these areas that look a bit pale yeah I like that I'm going to pop my glue on I'm waiting for my Asda order now. Yep, we've had Amazon's Bean. Yeah, I grabbed a pretty cheap uh, Tim Holtz paper pad yesterday. Um, I didn't mention it on my video because, oh, did I? Had it gone by then? See, I don't even remember yesterday. Tanya bought it early on in the morning and the paper pad was around £10, so I bought one paid £10.13 for it, she put it on her group and by end of date had gone back up to £19, £19 that's crazy and I can't even remember which one it was do you know one of these days I'm going to come on here and I'm just going to sit here and go oh, why am I, why am I here, yeah it's like what am I doing, why am I here, oh, what are all these people doing watching me but there won't be anyone watching me because I forgot what I'm doing. Crazy lady. Right, I'm going to peel the backing on this. And I'm going to back it like I did my tags. So I've made two tags, a journal card and a booklet. Yeah, it's took me an hour like, but I've had fun. I've enjoyed it. So I'm going to try and put this in the corner so I only have to cut two sides. Oh, I did it. We can bet we can just see through actually that it says Jacob's crackers, but do you know what? I'm happy with that. Because we can see what it used to be, but now it's something pretty. And I think it is still in keeping with the style of my junk mail journal. So it can be used in that. pretty neat. Now I did cut these off before with my circle punch so I'm going to try and do it again. I don't know which size circle punch I used though. Was it that one? Yeah I think it was. So I hold this up to a window. You can't see me do it I'm above you. No I can't see. So I'm going to snip around with my scissors. Again had I decided I was going to put these semicircles on corner I would have stuck the backing on and then cut it all out together but I didn't so I haven't in fact I couldn't there you go Some ink that side a little bit around the edges. I'm going to come in and punch two holes. And pop some gold eyelets in. Quite like that. A bit different. I've got a different colour eyelet. I can't live with that. I just can't live with it. I've got some really bright gold ones and then I've got some of the antique gold ones. I prefer the antique gold ones. That's better. Whoa. Oh, I did it back to front. I've done it again. I've put that in the wrong way around. Yeah, so here we go. If you missed how to repair it when you've done it wrong way, I just squash the back up with my pliers. Actually, allow you to 
pop it back on and <laughs> try again silly woman I do that quite often you know yeah make sure that the one with the long prong goes in the top where because then the flatter part of your crompadile is the one that's going to smack smash crush the back and make it look good that's it and i want some twine in here because i want to make it look like a little handle coming off no that's it I'll, I'll tell you why i'm messing in a minute right, i want it to go like that so that you just like that yeah and that's going to tie in a knot at the top yeah and then it confuddles me which way to thread the twine when i do that There we go, so that's one, that's, will be stamped, she ain't cleaned it woman, that's two, <laughs> look at all the rubbish I've got, and then we've got these two, which also need a little bit of twine in them, so I'll just cut some, two bits of twine off, quite rustic then, and they're all going to go, in my junk mail journal so nicely timed new series there Tanya so as I've took up an hour of your time I'm not going to waffle too much more I will say check out my description for all the details of junk it July and yeah pop over to Tanya's channel and her Facebook group some lovely ladies who are members who are far more active than I am and yeah you'll enjoy it so thank you very much and I will see you next time bye